Police say this is a stressful time, not just for the officers, but for their families too. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plate continues our live team coverage now with more on that. Sarah. Yeah, we talked to the, uh, the president of the Fraternal Order of Police who says that the officers are doing okay and their families have taken the news fairly well. Now, we are not identifying the officers at this time, even though we found out information that tells us who they are, but we do know that two of the three are fathers. They do have children, so that brings it all home for us. KCPD had peer support crisis personnel on the scene yesterday and are providing psychologists to the officers to deal with their emotions. Lemon said, that, Lemon is the president of the FOP, he said that the case CPD is getting too good with how they respond to crises like this because of how often it happens. He said it shows that despite being highly skilled officers, they have to constantly prepare for the worst. Yeah, I've said this before, I'll say it again. We have this, there are segments of society that have just lost all respect for just humanity. And to just randomly kill a young child, you know, just in the beginning of his life and doesn't even know who he's going to be um, is incredibly sad. Uh, that's the kind of guy that pulls a gun on a, on, on a police officer and tries to kill him. And we do know that two of the three officers are still in the hospital. We are still working to find out more about the third. In downtown KC, I'm Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.